I'm Dr. Caroline Fife. I'm the medical director of the CHI St. Luke's Wound Clinic in the Woodlands, Texas. And I have a faculty position at Baylor in the geriatrics department. And I've been practicing wound care for three decades. My name is Diana Brom, and I have known Dr. Fife for approximately three years. Diana is one of the people who inspires me. She told me that she'd been admitted to the hospital two times, several months apart, with what appeared to be a terrible infection, but they never figured out what it was. They cut my leg open, gaping wounds, ICU for several days, finally got out. Um, was out, I believe, several weeks, and then um, started feeling sick again. They opened the leg to allow the swelling of the muscle to um, be released, and they didn't find the flesh-eating bacterial infection everyone expected, which was kind of good news, but another inexplicable thing that had happened where people were scratching their heads saying, she looked really sick, but it wasn't what we thought, our cultures were negative. There was clearly something wrong that had escaped the usual diagnostics. I knew that we needed to up the game to try to figure out what was really going on with her. Hey, let's do this DNA test. I don't know if anything will happen or you know what will come of it. I just wanna try it out. You're a really good person to try it out on, so let's do it. And I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, what, what did I have to lose? And in a few days, we got back a report and she had a, a really life-threatening fungal infection. You better get to the hospital and I'm calling your other doctors. And, and I'm thinking, what in the world? This lady's crazy. Like, you know, it can't be that bad. No infection is that bad. And so I called the transplant team. But a couple hours later, my uh, liver team called me and they said, get down here. We've talked to your doctor, your wound care doctor, and this is what she believes you have. And we want to see you. And they were so grateful because they were worried. They knew there was something else. Their cultures had not found it. They had attempted to do um, fungal cultures as well as bacterial. None of them had um, been positive up to that point. So when I called them and told them what the DNA assay revealed, um, the team really went into high gear really fast. And so they had infectious disease, the transplant, the surgeons, everyone, they were waiting for her. I'm only one of about five people at that stage of that fungus infection to actually survive it. At that stage, it mostly takes over your whole body and by then there's not much you can do. I'm extremely grateful that Dr. Five had the knowledge and the ability um, to have this test. Um, because without this test and without um, her knowledge and her wisdom in wanting to do the test, then um, I would not be here where I am today. I am very glad that it's out there and is available and hopefully will be available to many more doctors and that they will be able to use it.